A lot of people getting into property photography have a simple question of what camera is best for property photography. There isn't an answer for that, uh, to be quite simple, but there is one thing, you know, as when I say there isn't an answer, there isn't a simple answer. Any camera will do, you've just got to have the right lens and be able to take a photo properly and then, then you're sorted. However, one thing which I would recommend if you are doing property photography um, and you're doing it handheld, like what I've been doing for the last uh, 11 years, is you want a camera which has the fully articulating screen. The reason for that is that many times I'll come into properties and I'll have uh, rooms with mirrors, possibly even reflecting doors as well. And I need to get into certain positions where I'm not going to be seen, but I still need to be able to see the view of the camera. So this one, this room here is uh, quite a challenge because we've got the mirror here and it's reflecting, if we can see, <clears throat> well, it's reflecting all into that mirror there, giving us an infinite mirror effect. And the only, <clears throat> oh my goodness, coronavirus, the only way for me to get the shot so the main shot that I want to get is the whole room, including the entrance into here. Uh, I need to be uh, pretty, pretty squished down into the corner. So if I leave you here, you might be able to see the view that I'm at. If I were just to be standing in this shot, even holding it right to my chest, I'm still fully uh, reflected in the mirror. Even if I get down on my knees and try and hide myself behind the pillow, let's have a look here, you will see you're still getting my arm in there. So the only way for me to get shot <laughs> is to have this above, like get even lower down onto the ground, have this above my head, rotate the uh, flippy out screen so I can see where, where I'm looking at and have it almost touching the wall. So here, the camera is touching the wall. Got my elbow out, and bingo. Got the whole shot, so you can see the whole room and the reflection of that mirror all the way to that mirror. So in that one photo, you're seeing two, two rooms and the hallway, and it's only by the ability to have this pointing down the way um, that I'm able to actually see what I'm doing. So yeah. What camera for property photography? Any camera. What helps the most is a fully articulating screen uh, on your camera because of, in some cases, you need to get right into the corner and if you're trying to look at the screen while it's there, it's not happening. But that's just my little tip. Hope that helps. Bye-bye. Uh, and just quickly, here's another example of where having a fully articulating screen uh, comes in very handy is where you if you sometimes can't get right in the corner. So for example, just now, the photo I want to shoot, even though we've got super wide angle lens, that's still not quite wide enough. I want to be able to see all the way from the fireplace all the way there. Also, when I take that photo, I'm having a reflection coming off of the, the picture there. So what I need to do is, the problem is in the way, there's a, TV and stuff, so I need to hang over the back of the TV. So for me, again, having a screen which I can hold out here, have the camera in a place where one, could be a tripod, and two, don't want to move anybody's stuff. But there, that last shot, if I, if I check carefully, Nice, seeing all the way from the fireplace, seeing all the way to the end of the sofa. So I've seen from there all the way to there. Yeah, and that's, that's the benefit of having a fully articulating screen. It means you can put it in places where you can't really see it and make sure that you've got it all level so that uh, you're not having to crop anything afterwards. So yeah, doesn't matter what camera you're shooting, just uh, one with a good screen.